Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to explore Sapa. And since we are going to travel quite a bit on day one, we hired a private driver to bring us around. The first order of business is breakfast. Our driver brought us to this amazing fur place where we had the fur combo consisting of beef, chicken and innards. Afterwards, we headed to Rongme Glass Bridge where a local shop owner offered to drive us up the slope. Since it was raining heavily, we took up her offer to have coffee at her shop while waiting for the rain to subside. After multiple elevators, we reached the entrance where the rainbow staircase is. Then began our long hazardous walk on the glass bridge. Despite the well-maintained glass floor that is easy to see through, we couldn't really see a lot since it was pretty misty due to the rain. Halfway through the bridge, the rain got heavier, making the floor really slippery. At the end of the bridge is a concrete path leading to the sky bicycle, where we watched as the fearless kids got to the other end and back again. Other attractions along the way include the Infinity Lake, a temple, and finally back to the Rainbow Staircase, this time at the top. Then we took a quick trip to the lonely tree before heading for lunch at a sturgeon place where the fish is freshly caught and prepared. We also got to visit the kitchen to see the preparation process. After lunch, we headed to the Heaven's Gate. After the photo spots at the entrance, we head down a sheltered path towards the climb to the Heaven's Gate. At the end of the climb besides the Heaven Gate, you will also get to see statues of folklore and deities like the Four Heaven Kings, Goddess of Mercy, the 18 Ahats, and characters from the journey to the west. Next, we went for a trek to the Love Waterfall which is located in a nature park. Waterfall time. Although there are mostly proper pavements, the route towards the waterfall could be quite slippery. I will encourage you to get proper trekking shoes if you are coming here. You will also have to cross a river and climb some stairs to get to the waterfall. And after our trek, we checked in to our hotel. I see the toilet. Spacious. Big room. See the balcony. I got no complaints, nothing doesn't feel right. 
The rose garden is in front of our room. After resting for a while, we headed out for dinner. In Sapa, you will get to see these buggies which cost around 20k dong per trip for you to get around if you are too lazy to walk. We had pizza for dinner and walked around the city centre before calling it a day. Subscribe and stay tuned for the next video where we spent the day on the famous Fancy Pan. This is what you got me saying, yeah.